Hey there guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's September 10th, 2014. Batman and I are starting the day off here at the Industrial Surplus Place. What? I'm gonna have to get my bigger straps. <laughs> <laughs> These are my biggest little ones. Just use two. Not for that shirt. Well, Batman, go around the thing. Are there eyes on top? Are they lifting? No. Them? No, okay. Oh, so it just hooked to the lifting. All right, well, grab the bigger straps. But we're gonna want the big straps to hook it down well, to the truck. I got plenty of them. Okay, I trust you. So it's big very act day. We're having fun. Hanging out with Jeff. They have they have a lot of goodies here we could use, like that. Isn't that sexy? It just looks like fun, doesn't it? Hey, there's a suitable exhaust fan for the bathroom. That work. Buy that fan, just call it Taco Night. Bring your receipt? Huh? Did you bring that receipt? I didn't bring the one you gave me. I figured you'd give me a shiny new one when I paid it off. Okay. Yeah, I brought cash. You give me the receipt. If you'd rather give me cash and I give you a receipt, I'm very okay with that. I like your idea better. All right, I'll be back. Batman, where you want it? That truck's had a long, hard life. Forklift drifting. <laughs> All set? Okay. Sure, I can give you a hand with it. It's all right, we got this. Done this once or twice. That's quite lovely. Yeah, there's not much shock left underneath that. No. It <laughs> really isn't. <laughs> this truck's had a long, hard life, part of which included going under the Bristol Street Bridge. Nah. It used to be a 13-foot box truck. All right. Used to be. 10-foot bridge. I thought that uh, that was off the one off. Yeah. <laughs> Pull tension. Pull tension. Okay. I pull tension. Yep. Hey, can we have two straps, not just one? Yeah. All right, then put it toward. Oh, are you going towards the back for the first one? Yeah, we can do that. All right, go towards the back for the first one. You know, if I hadn't put this uh, angle iron on, this thing would just completely shattered. Yeah. Nope. 
Flat beds have advantages and disadvantages. Alright, why is it? just create this one. Potential. Got it. Do it. We got very active. Yeah, we can unload it outside. It's not raining bad. Hey, you want to stop by Kendall real quick? Yeah, what? I wanted to get prices on uh, the lights for the sides of the door. What it look like? Yeah. All right, I understand. All right, now our job is to just get this into the high voltage lab without screwing it up. I got a plan. I believe in you. You got nothing but faith. We'll see you guys back at the lab. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, Rocco. Take this a second. Oh, it's in my mind. Gary? Huh? I thought you just wanted it sold. No. Was that you need a new fidget toy? <laughs> So you've got it memorized, do you? Huh? You've got it memorized, he do you? He handed that to me like 15 minutes ago? No. I, I can't do it in like 30 seconds, but I've just been wandering around. Like, Batman's like, I need you. I was like, not yet. I'm almost there. <laughs> <laughs> I just sit down the stairs like, just fucking give me five minutes. I got this. He's got one for his desk. Oh, you got him in swag? Hey Doogie, you might want to get pepper out of the way. You might want to grab it from the other side. You can't. Cars. Good point. You have any issues? Yeah, you put it off too far away. Ah. I need manly men! Jerry! Doogie! <laughs> Give me a hand real quick. Hey, Casey! Yeah. Come here a minute. Give me a hand real quick.
Hey guys, it's Tippy. Bring the forks in, wrap a strap around the bottom, pull forward. They can't figure this out, that's what I'm going to have you guys do. What I would have done was just run a strap through and slide it back. But with this many guys, it's only a thousand pounds or so. So we lose one out of four. Yeah, it's gonna need some dry time. Yeah. Well, when it rains like a month. Yeah. Up to 600 volts. Uh, mm -hmm. Hold on. So now it's 480 in, 0 to 560. Hand me the 600. Oh. Huh? Do you get one of those magnet tray handy?
I need some new carpets. Oh, you should have went whack. No, I just flipped it down and the water poured out of the couch. I would have sprayed it with it. I'm a nicer guy. All right, take the back off. Yep. Thank you, sir. Now I'm going to post lots and lots and lots of pictures to the internet. Yeah, how's that for badass? Triple, triple. X, Y, Z. That's awesome. All right, guys, time is 14.01 hours, and it's time for viewer mail here at the Geek Group. Awesome day. We got the big Variac. I'm very excited about that. Are you very excited? I am very excited about that. That man got it. I don't know who did it. But thank you, anonymous donor. He told me, and I don't remember who it was off the top of my head. You're a horrible person. What, what uh, note is it? 440. Oh, 440 hertz is middle A. Yeah. Thank you. I'm not important anymore. This is from Daniel Diego. Jager. D. Jager because he says it funny. This man, he knew it. Oh! Remember the sprockets we got for the coil winder? Mm -hmm. Those are master links. He's sending us the chain. Oh, cool. So, set those somewhere safe. Yep. It's Royal Mail. Doesn't say who sent it. Marmite crisps, which is English for Vegemite potato chips. Who sent this? Name not found. Saw these mentioned somewhere and I thought I'd send a few bags. Enjoy from Name Not Found. Marmite. Oh, we gotta try those out. Marmite's like a slightly toned down version of Vegemite. That's gonna be a thing. We'll have to do taste tests around the lab. Now you like salt and vinegar, so I can see you digging Marmite. I happen to know that I like the Marmite crisps. Okay. Is it Marmite flavored or is it made from Marmite? Yes. Yes? <laughs> Good old potatoes supercharged with a heady dose of lovely Marmite. Mm -hmm. ah. No idea who sent this, but it's a thing of royal flush. Hey! Poopery. This stuff works great. Wow, that's heavy. Oh! Now this is to Moose. I don't think this is a member donation. I think this might be something you ordered for stock. Nope. It should be off of our wish list. It is. Uh, oh. You know what that is? That's uh, Icarus. No, no, uh, this is way too small for Icarus. This is a six inch Tessa coil that doesn't know it yet. But yeah, that came off the the supply of those. I'm dropping this whole mess right in there. That's, that's a six inch test of Does the person who ordered it wish to be named? Um, I don't, I think that one came from Harvard. I think, I could be wrong. If you ordered a thing of magnet wire, let me know. Mark ordered a thing of oh, magnet Mark wire. Mark ordered one? Okay, yeah. then that's, that's, that might be correct. Harvey was making noises about it. We need a few of them, so I don't know. 
This is from Patrick Taylor. Hi, Chris. Thank you for all the good videos and captain's blogs from Patrick Taylor. Thank you, sir. And he sends it all. Hell yes. Yeah. Torx socket bits. And a build plate for the ordering project. This is from Sudas. Sudas. It's graffiti of Iron Fist. Mm. Hello, again, hello again, Chris, and assorted flavors of viewer mail peanut gallery. That's you guys. In close, you'll find some old software for archives consisting of Adobe Illustrator 4, five floppies, Sim Earth for black and white classic Max, one Ooh. floppy, and GraphSoft MiniCAD Plus 3.1 version 8 with the manual. Installed in the form of a zip disk. I've lost the original install media long ago, along with other miscellaneous classic Mac utilities, which become increasingly harder to find. Some of which may already be in the archives on any of the classic Macs there. I know Doogie will have some sort of matter of fun with that in, and his vintage power book. I'm certain there's a zip drive somewhere in archives, so there shouldn't be any issue with that. Also enclosed are a bag full of small electronics miscellaneous components consisting of a couple of multi-pin ICs and what looks like a potted form. Rectifiers? Black bag. Some fuse resistors of an unknown value and a bunch of screws, nuts, bolts, and BNC odds and ends. I've had these in my possession since about 2008 and never found any, any sort of use for any of it. And recently uncovered the box they're all sitting in. Punctuation, motherfuckers. Some of us need to breathe. So, to you they go as someone who will definitely have some sort of purpose for them there. There's also a small metal duck made of some sort of pewter, I'm guessing, in a bag next to the floppies. Do with it as you wish, but as a suggestive idea for some cheap fun, is marked on the bag. Wire around the neck and body may work. He wants us to thump the duck. Hoping to see sparks, pseudos. Thank you, Steve. So here's the Mac. I think it's cool that not only do we still get stuff like this in the mail, we can actually use it. Spaceman, man, buddy. Okay. Yeah. Software for archives. Oh God, yes. Cage nuts for equipment racks. Can use the hell out of those. That's empty. Doogie's new calculator. You're getting an upgrade. I dare you to thump me. Are you bad enough, dude, to thump a duck? If we thump the duck, nothing will really happen. But I have some ideas for the duck. The duck will get electrocuted, I promise. <coughs> Thumping it, probably not the best. But we'll, point. we'll do some fun stuff with the duck. Because we have a duck. There's one more. Thank you, sir. Captain. Just says, Captain. That's me. Glad UPS likes us. Oh, I can only imagine the note. Oh, of course it is. A gift from Charles Selfridge. Now, you hold up your end of the bargain. Yep. Size matters. Enjoy maximum suction, no pumping required. This pair of nipple suckers are easy to use, and once they're on, they aren't going anywhere. Sorry. Simply apply the base end over the nipple and twist the top dial clockwise to your desired level. These sturdy suckers are super strong. The more you twist, the more intense the suction. To release, simply twist the dial counterclockwise. We already volunteered you, Batman. Yeah, that's right, Ray. You're on the list. <laughs> I think it's funny that the, everybody figured out what it was at the same moment, but it was Kelly that went, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> These are 
are actually a really good design. It, it's just a their, suction chamber. Yeah, they've got a line mounted on them. So nipple they're, sized. They're graduated nipple suckers. <laughs> or volumetric <laughs> nipple suckers. Hi. Hi. We may have to shave you. <laughs> you don't pay me. <laughs> this is the price you pay for being famous on the internet. I need your nipple. Ah, fat nipples. So, Chuck, you gotta tell me, did I promise to do it in blog or did I promise to do it on a Sunday night sex ed? Because I'm pretty sure it was a Sunday night sex ed thing. You just promised a demo. Huh? I believe you just promised a demo. Okay, well, we will demo these on camera. It'll be a thing. They can't be that bad. <laughs> really, they can't. They can't be that bad. Just, just, hang on a minute. No, because you haven't done that before. <laughs> Is it your coin? Oh, your coin! You did something. <laughs> that was not pleasant. You know you're getting a turn. I've been trying. It's, it's really only a matter of time. Trying so hard to get us good sponsors. <laughs> I don't know, we might get some really fun sponsors we play with this stuff. You guys have fun, that's viewer mail for today. We'll be back after this. In several states in the USA, it's still legal for an employer to discriminate against an employee based on sexual preference and orientation. Being gay, lesbian, or transgender is a fireable offense, and that's bullshit. So, give me your twinks, your bears, your lipstick lesbians yearning to code PHP. Give me your dykes, your kinksters, your furries, and transgenders looking for more. Send these, the rainbowed sparkly code poets to me. Compile with us. We don't care whom you adore. Seriously, folks, are you LGBTQ or a champion for their cause? Do you have mad web developing skills? Then we want to talk to you. Visit this link and fill out an application today. Where you are in the world doesn't matter, so get in touch. Straight, bigoted asshats need not apply. In fact, we'll laugh at you if you do. Actually ready. Uh, yeah, we're actually ready this time. Right, no. Yeah, I noticed. I'm gonna need help. Get in there, grab a piece of that. I knew this thing was heavy. <laughs> oh, glad I have a fork there. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Oh, cool. Well, thank you, Chad. Hey, no problem. It's good doing business yeah. for you, sir. <laughs> All right, IRC, it's official. We bought Chad Saw. No, Found it on no, Craigslist. Let's drive in both directions. I think there's a hole. That is our big, beautiful new band saw for the lab. And we are now let's one major step directions. closer yeah. to being able to make steam engines. Yes, sir, we are. That's cool. And we got an extra blade. Extra blade. Extra blade. We'll leave it in the back for Rocco's kids to play with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Daddy, it's a hula hoop covered in blood. So how many guys you got there doing this stuff? Uh, about 25,000 around the world. Oh, wow. We've got members all over the world. And it's, it's guys like you. Guys okay. that build stuff. Okay, Ben didn't go. And we do a full public tour every Saturday at 12.30, and you are absolutely welcome to come check it out. Yeah, definitely. It's right on Leonard. It's the old West Side Watch. Yep. 902 Leonard. So you the guy that runs it then? Well, ish. <laughs> okay. He's just a He, he, he pretty much head. runs the show. I just yeah. work there. Cool. Oh yeah, that's the, that's that the blue rope to keep shut. You're shitting me. I told you. <laughs> You're putting that on oh, your blog. <laughs> we ain't known to be rich. We're a bunch of rednecks that like to build stuff, guys. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> This is totally not a company, a company. This is This is a company truck. Okay. We're low budget, but we make really cool toys. That's awesome. <laughs> we'll be back. Rhino cover isn't very heavy.
It's on wheels. We could just go get every swinging dick in the building and You're set wild. it down. It's a bit of a heavy bitch. Hey, Batman, you fell in the hole there. I see that. Come on. <laughs> well, hold on. I'm thinking just come and pick it up just like that. Don't let it roll off. <laughs> I will lift it single-handedly if it falls. This thing's a baby now, you know. They'll just do that mother strength shit and pick it up. <laughs> Why are we going now? Oh yeah, that's totally stable. Yeah, a little tippy. That's all right. Casey can keep it stable, and then I'll put it down. And we're just making it do the lifting. It's on wheels. Yeah. Gently. Push it by the bow or the base, not the motor or the guards. Where are we going? I'd put it over there where the other band's are. So let's put the little one yeah. in. You're not going to put the little bandsaw in the big bandsaw and cut it into pieces. This shit's on parts, you can just slide that out of the way. Yeah, I need somebody to look at those. Hook up the thing okay. and put the tray where it goes. It probably hangs somewhere. And uh, make sure the coolant system's full, yep. not clogged, and pumps right before the saw gets turned on. Yep. All right, cool. For the people at home who are curious as to what saw we have, I don't see a model number on it anywhere. Oh, right there. It's a Ramco RS100P. It was in the image. Cool. Well, that's sexy. So this one's got a... Uh... Hook the spring up on the end. Yeah, bring it down. Let's bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Go, 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 go. One more. Okay, stop. I'd shorten that as much as you can. We cut bigger things than he did. <laughs> you good there? Yeah, it should come off. All right, let's check it. Yep, it drops. Cool. So this has got an actual hydraulic ram. You can control the pressure of it so that it falls at a specific yeah, rate. Yeah, that's, that's what this will do. That's awesome. Yeah, this one doesn't stand up like that does. I wonder if it has an auto off, like a rotary switch or something. That's pretty. You happy guy there? Yep. Okay. Casey, right. you happy guy? All right. Usually drill for machines like this, we completely do shit, make it clean, pretty, everything moves. Yep. And then so. We know for sure that Let's get it done. factory fresh clean. Yep. All right.